welcome, it's Chewy. We're gonna learn about the sun, the heart of the solar system. After this class, you should be able to understand the key characteristics and components of the sun and be able to identify the role of the sun in our solar system. Imagine a celestial body so immense that it dwarfs everything else in our neighborhood of the Milky Way galaxy. Today, we embark on a voyage of discovery to explore the sun, the star that sustains life on our home planet and shapes the very essence of our existence. The sun, a fiery ball of plasma, has been a symbol of warmth, light, and energy throughout human history. It's a constant presence in our lives, casting its golden rays upon us, giving life to our world, and painting the sky with mesmerizing colors as it rises and sets. Yet beyond the beauty and radiance, the sun holds secrets that continue to captivate scientists and astronomers. Woo! Are you excited yet? Here's an overview and some stats about the sun. Pause the video so you can read all about it. Let's take a look at the unique features of the sun. Now you can see where it's pointing in the middle. That's the sun's core. Then it has a radioactive zone. And then it has something called a convection zone. So the sun's core located at its center is a colossal nuclear fusion reactor. Basically, that's where the sun's getting its energy. Approximately 360 billion megawatts per second. This energy generation is basically what powers the sun and provides the radiant energy that sustains life on Earth. Now the sun has some solar winds occasionally. They emit a stream of charged particles known as solar wind into space and they travel at high speeds. And there's also something called solar flares. Yeah, they are sudden and violent releases of energy right on the sun's surface. They emit x-rays and ultraviolet radiation. Get your sunscreen. I don't know if you know this, but the sun has spots sunspots, but they're temporary, but you can sometimes see them on the sun's surface caused by intense magnetic activity. They appear as dark spots because they are cooler than the surrounding areas. Hmm. Now the sun goes through approximately a 11 year solar cycle marked by changes in solar activity. So sometimes the cycle affects the number of sunspots, solar flares, and the overall output of solar energy. The sun is in the spiral arm of our galaxy. You can see it right there. It's situated about 27,000 light years away from the galactic center and it orbits the galaxy's center along with, you know, just a billion of other stars. Hey, thanks for watching.
watching and listening. Hope you learned something today. See you in my next class.